Hey guys, welcome back to Vitamin Y. So today is Sunday, and that means we're using Chantal Yubel, or Chabelle. <laughs> so, um, you know, Kakashi Kyle is pretty much back from his vacation or break or whatever he's doing, and he's pretty much humping back into the Yubel scene and pretty much doing things that I have I've already done or have been on Vitamin Y as of late. So he recently made his own Shadal deck and Shadal Yubel deck. And looking at it, uh, it seems a little bit more competitive because of the whole, the whole back row thing. But um, you know, it wasn't perfect in my opinion. But you know, I'm not going to be too nitpicky. Um, for he had two lights, and his two lights were actually two um, Light Swarm Wolves. And I like the idea of, you know, having to go, oh, well, when I Shadal Fusion from my um, my main deck, uh, then I'll send the wolf, and then the wolf will come to the field. That sounds like a, you know, a legit idea, but then you also got to take into consideration that there's a chance that you might draw the wolf. I mean, Yu-Gi-Oh! is a game of luck. There's a chance that he can draw those wolves, and the last thing that he needs to do is have a more clogged hand. He already has enough trouble drawing the damn you bells. I mean, that might just be me, because, you know, every single duel I draw you bell. But, uh, you know, taking that into consideration, uh, I was thinking, and the thing that I, I was kind of shocked about is that out of all of the, um, out of all the light monsters that you would normally run, uh, the number one w on my list would definitely be uh, Thunder King. Yeah, uh -huh. Thunder King is like the, one of the best light monsters in all the game. Who's you know a standalone light monster, and uh, I'm surprised that uh, Kakashi Kyle didn't even uh, you know consider putting him in. He just wasn't in there. Uh, the thing is, I don't trust this back row. That's my problem right now, is I really don't trust that back row. So I can normal summon, send a dragon, pop that, discard special. But the thing is, if I use one, if I use this effect, I'll miss timing with the first guy, and I only get the second guy. Uh, so, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I saw you guys' comments and all your uh, recommendations for stuff, but the thing is, is that when it comes to Nephilim, I Nephilim's okay. I like it, but it's not really a thing that I want to pull out all the time. You know, the deck is predominantly dark. I'd rather send, you know, two dark Shabelle decks, I mean, two dark Shabelle, two dark Shadals and go for, like, um, uh, oh, I forgot his name. What the fuck's his name? Uh, Midrash. I keep forgetting his name. Um, I actually did, like, a YouTube video discussion on Hunts and Dolls, and I almost forgot uh, Midrash's name. It was actually kind of funny. Well, that card, because I don't trust that shit. Yeah, I trust duelists as far as I can throw them, and obviously I can't get my hands on this Ichigo 195 guy, so I don't trust him at all. Oh, it's just Dust Tornado. I guess I should have just trusted him, huh? Huh. What you gonna do, right? Trust the trust the guy as far as you can throw him. Uh, I'm thinking about maybe getting a little bit cutesy with it and then actually tributing to set this, because then next turn when he's flipped, I get to draw two and then discard one. I can discard the dragon because I have a feeling he's gonna set more back row instead of going for the dark Greffer play right now and you know revealing all the other things in my basket. Oh, it was just in the mobile manga. Yeah, that's fine. So what the hell am I going against? Frickin' um... Oh, what's that called? Uh, fucking raccoons? Or maybe I might just be going against a noob. I don't know, what's his record? Lower than mine. I might be giving this guy too much credit. Oh, that was my normal summon. Then... Duh, I'll just go with my uh, current play. So I'll discard, special summon, make a level of chain, and then send uh, Ebel so I can have uh, so I can have uh, Ebel plays with limit reverse. That should be just a given. Now since I realized that that was summon was my normal summon, I was like, oh yeah, I could distribute my Armageddon Knight for a second normal summon and cheat. <laughs> Uh, it took me a cool minute to forget. I feel it's Dark Grover, and I discard special, but no. Uh, they're both good. Uh, 
what else? Um, in Kakashi Kyle's deck, he only ran two Armageddon Knights, and I was kind of surprised, because Armageddon Knight's, like, one of the best cards you can run in this deck. Uh, he's not a neg like, um, Dark Greffer is, and all you use, oh, oh yeah, I'm going to get the scrub, all right? Not a scrub, a noob. A noob. There's a difference, there's a difference, I want to clear that out. There's a difference between scrub and noob. Scrub is a person who's bad, who refuses to get bad. A noob... I mean, he might be a scrub, but so far, he hasn't shown any, me any, like, you know, pro, decently pro plays. Like, Dust Tornado over MSTs, uh, Pendant, that, those are noob moves. Like, a scrub, a scrub would be bad, and they could be better, you know? Well, a noob, a noob is just blatantly just bad. <laughs> I mean, yeah, a noob is just blatantly bad because they don't know how to play the game. A scrub is bad because they don't want to get better. There's a difference. Uh, anyway... Bell effect. Let me go ahead and copy paste this. You know, I'm gonna get a knight. I'm gonna get a knight and Shadows can net you pluses, you know? Like the play that I do, I just go summon Armageddon Knight, send, and then pop. You know? I I plussed off my opponent, but just summon the Armageddon Knight. I don't neg from that, you know? So Dark I mean Armageddon Knight's better than Dark Griffin in this particular deck. Um Doesn't this do like something when this card's removed since I pick five hundred your opponent, so have 100 pass to you. Um, what else? He was only running two Shadow Fusions? Mm, two? It's like, really? Like, you think that card would be played more? Oh, speaking of Shadow Fusions. <laughs> That's cute. <laughs> uh, but no, nah, I think I'll just stall right now. I mean, if he wants to keep on setting uh, monsters, I'll just keep popping. Yep, that was the right choice. Because he's not flipped. This one card from Benjamin Cards. Alright, sure. Go ahead, pay costs. Pay costs. Sure. Perfect. So, now I can start doing some plays and not have to worry about your bell. I mean, there's no more you bell plays in this anymore, because, you know, now I pretty much know, know you bell player. Uh, that's, you know, upper in the rankings, like me or Kakashi Kyle, or etc. Uh, run any more than just one, one, one if you bell. You know, we used to, you know, be like, oh, two, you first one, you bell, or maybe two tears. No, no, that's just one, one, one. You know, because the majority of the decks that we run aren't you bell revolved around you bell. So if you bell is gone, then you know what? Oh, well, you know, I'm pretty much right at this point. <laughs> oh, well, <laughs> you know, oh, fucking well, I lost <laughs> you bell. Okay, I still got a shit ton of shit all plays, so. Yep, I got a freaking 19 beater that I am not afraid to poke you with. And if you try to be cute and do something to him, then I will go ahead and just turn Ultimate Nightmare to attack and then eat you. So, I give no fucks. Alright. Well, these Masked Millions are great. I mean, I can, you know, summon them and bring back Dragon and then go into a Seer Synchro place just... I can't summon him because I have Ultimate Nightmare on the field. Which is, it's not bad, you know, it's mine. I mean, if he wants to be cute and try to dark hole me, then I'll be sent to grab my card effect and I'll get to pop his face down, so, yeah. Sure. Uh, go ahead and target. Sure. That's fine. Oop, I lost a thousand. Just a gain, two thousand. There you go. My bad. This card makes Terra Incarnate miss timing, if you guys are wondering. Also, uh, Light Pulsar. So, if, you, if Terra Incarnate gets hit with this, you miss, and you don't get uh, Ultimate Nightmare. There's some new facts, since, you know, the cards here. Uh, it's kind of slippy, you can tell me. This card is interesting about Carnival, blah, 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 blah. Uh, <laughs> nope. Just take the duel slow. I'm not in any hurry to be winning this duel. I mean, I guess now because I'm in Mass Chameleon. Yep, I'll go ahead and play it now. Go ahead and Foolish or our last dragon. Dragon will get his effect, and he'll go ahead and pop that. You know, that's the thing. That's a di the thing and the difference. One of the major differences between me and Kakashi Kyle. The thing with Kakashi Kyle is, is he tries to make um, 
every single uh, Yubel deck competitive, every single one. So he will take out vital pieces and cards out of the deck to uh, you know make room for more back row, which you know in his ICC is competitive, and you know the aspect of like a lot of people see as competitive is the more back row you have, the more competitive you are. So uh, like I said, you see the majority of it. Um, you can't play quick play spell cards from your hand during my turn. You have to set them. Yeah, this is a this is a noob. This is a noob right here. If you had it set and then you activated it, then oh yeah, you could have totally done that. But you can't just play a quick play spell card from your hand. That would be that would be broke as fuck. Broke as fuck. One sex. Alright. You know how broke that would be? It'd be like, I just have a freaking monster, no back row. You just attack me, I'm like, oh, well, during the damage step, I play Lance from my hand? Like, what the fuck? Did I just get, like, on? I mean, it's, it's still bad, but, you know, back row, you know, in the game of Yuga kind of messes with your opponent psychologically. So, at that point, you know, still, if he will set his back row, your opponent attack during the damage step, set up the Lance. But this would be, like, I, honest. This would be, like, during the damage step, I play Lance from my hand. Like, no. That would be broke. <laughs> anyway, I'm getting off topic, so... Uh, I mean, if you guys want, I can go ahead and post uh, Kakashi Kyle's build for... Um, the Shadal you belt in the description. And you guys can go ahead and check it out. Uh, this one won't be revealed for a while, but just know that all that back row that he runs, it's not in here. I, I Personally, I don't like back row, and uh, I find Vitamin Y to be more of a fun series, and I like to have fun when I don't put back row. I mean, even u Beat, it used to have back row, but I took it out. So there's no u Bell deck on Vitamin Y that has any type of back row, except for, I think, I think, um... Except for I think Gibel Fire Kings has um has Trental just because it's Fire Kings, but you know then deck is is leaving freaking uh, Vimon Y this upcoming Thursday anyway, so it really doesn't matter. Uh, does it fucking matter? Does it fucking matter? No, doesn't matter. Go over him. Doesn't matter. I win anywhere unless he wants to play Gores. But then I'll just blow his ass up. Oh, I can only do that during my main phase one. So, I wouldn't be able to flip the course. Ooh, the struggle. Ah, it wouldn't be too bad of a struggle, because I could just flip up Call of the Haunted and just, uh, take his monster. I mean, not really. I mean, I slapped the shit out of you. I mean, you got rid of my U-Bells, but that's all you did. <sighs> but, uh, what else am I trying to say? I'm just like in a talky mood. So who about Kakashi Kai? I don't I don't want I don't want to bag on Kakashi Kai. I don't want to call him bad. I don't want to, you know, rag on him because I never do. You know, he's a great U Bell player and if you ever want to see competitive U Bell, go to him. And if you ever want to see like, you know, just having fun with U Bell and, you know, all these unique different decks each day, then you know, you come to me. So we each have our own theme. Uh, you know. Another thing that I want to talk about is uh, Kakashi Kyle, you know, recently he uh, picked up uh, Mound of the Bound Crater, and the things he's been doing with it are, um, specifically, he put it in um, ULB, yeah, um, so pretty much the gist of it is just sit on top, sit on Terran Carney, Mound of the Bound Crater, and poke the hell out of it, especially what I do with ULB, except I don't play Mound of the Bound Crater in that deck, uh, for, for reasons, <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and normal summon an army again tonight. Effect. Valor is going downhill as well. Valor's just not as good as it used to be. So we'll go ahead and just drop you bell. It's pretty surprising when I don't even open up with you bell in my hand. Feels nice. Feels feels relaxing. Feels like, you know, I have no troubles right now. <laughs> I don't have to worry about having a inherently just neg one because I have a former U Bell in my hand. Because essentially in that retrospect if you think of it like that, unless I have Dark Graph, the card pretty much can't be played. So, you know, if I draw like Terra Carnate, I start off with only five while my opponent starts off with six, so So the the struggle is real. Uh so 
uh, you know, I don't play uh, Mountain of the Bound Crater. That Mountain of the Bound Crater is obviously found in New Bellic Seas, which I think uh, gets the majority of the um, of the the points out of it. So you're going to take 100, so I, I lose by 100. That's cute. That's cute. Uh, no, nah, I don't really want to do that. I mean, I'm getting hedgehogs, but I might be the best, actually. Like, what the hell am I thinking? I forgot that hedgehog said. I thought it was get the dolls from your uh, graveyard. That's when it's just. But who the hell gets it from my graveyard? I don't know. I think I think it's the fusions. No, this search is from the deck when it's flipped. So I'll get a Shadal fusion when he's flipped up. Hedgehog is one of the best. Definitely one of the best. <laughs> so yeah. Um, you want to make black rose? Flip. Effect. Effect. Oh, question mark. Because if you want to go ahead and do something to it, do it. Do it. Okay. Ah. Uh, you want to poke me for 600? That's fine. Well, that's really a surprise that he's not doing anything. Uh, during the phase in reverse? Is that okay? Like I said, I'm going to take the duel slow, like usual. Go ahead and bring you bell back. Stall out a little bit. Wipe his field. All that good stuff. Just all that good stuff. And just do it. Do it. <laughs> Alright. Uh, uh, I will summon tear. And uh, tell you the truth, I'm just. I'm good. I'm good. I don't want to do much of anything, so. Uh, effect. I'll go ahead and copy and paste it, if you do not know it. Like I usually do. I feel like it's a gentleman act, so that you know. Go ahead. I can sit on terror for a cool minute. So you're like some kind of... Uh, uh, just making it con uh, convenient. Convenient... Convenient for you. Uh... <laughs> I'm not trying to insult you, you know. I'm just trying to make it convenient for you so you don't have to... So when I go in face to face, you won't have to look like, what effect? And have to read all of that frickin' um, Terran Connor. You can just be like, oh, alright. I'm just copying and pasting it, not trying to cheat. Just make it convenient for you. This is a habit that I've gotten into as a vitamin like because some people don't know what the hell I'm talking about. So I go in face effect, and they just sit there and look at me, stupid. So, just wanted to, you know, just make it convenient for you. I'm not calling you stupid. I'm not trying to insult you. You don't need to be salty. I'm not doing anything. I've literally done nothing to you this entire duel. So, you know, calm down. Calm down. You don't have to worry. I'm not trying to, you know, invade on your Terra Tawa. Trying to figure out a way to get around Terra, huh? I know. The struggle is real. It's hard. Except for when that fucking new C Cardinal guy comes out and he can just return me to the fucking deck. That's gonna hurt. Like, that sucks. <laughs> Discard two to Monster Bonus Redux. Then that's fine. To tell you the truth, I don't think that Cardinal motherfucker is actually on here yet. That The one I talked about on the card discussion series, the one that bounces a face-up card, I don't think he's on here yet. But when he does, ooh. My bootay. So is this like Girgi Akatakari? I don't know what to do. The thing is, he's attacking me, but he knows, but I, I can't be destroyed by battle, but he, I don't want him to yell at me and say, I, I can read. You know what? You know, because that's the last thing I want him to do, is to kind of come at me and be like, Oh, I can read! But then you just didn't read my effect. <laughs> you know? 
So, uh... Oh, but he has to attack. He has to attack, that's the thing. Alright. I thought he was going to do more than that. But, uh... If you take battle damage from battle zone, this card opens. That's going to be... Uh, okay. See, once again. Uh... This face of a card on the field. It's looked as an attack target. You can change its battle... Its battle position. Uh... I mean, I'm just gonna summon dragon just because I want to play. Okay. Sure. Like I said, it would have been the same exact end result, so I really don't care. Uh, I need to get him to the graveyard anyway, so I'll go ahead and just foolish. Uh, there you are, dragon. Go ahead and send dragon. Dragon will get its effect. Pop this one. Oh, it's just MST. Alright. Uh, so you're running low on resources, so I'll just end. Right. Go ahead. Seriously, don't know why you revived that monster with Redox. I mean, if you want to go ahead and banish to the summon Redox, right ahead, sir. You're running, you're running low on resources, so that's all I give a shit about. And the thing is, if I really wanted to, I could turn up the duel, I could turn up the speed of the duel, but it's just not really. Because I can go ahead and fucking um, play Falcon, and then he'll get the by card effect, come back, and then I can go ahead and just go like, summon Armageddon Knight, pop your card, send Dragon, pop your card, make a, um, a, uh, a Vulcan, target your card, target my card, they both return, and then Terra would go off on a summon all time there. That's a play I could do right now. It's like a little bit of setup, but I could pull it off, but I just wanted to, you know, make sure that everything is cool right now. Ah, oh, anyway, this video is going on a little bit longer than I was anticipating. It's cool, though. I don't mind doing with this deck, I kind of like this deck. So, as you guys know, up this upcoming Thursday, uh, you get double vitamin Y, you get the, um, the deck profile for, um, uh, Fire King, and then you also get, uh, uh, the new deck, the new deck, so you get two vitamin Ys. Sorry, I'm trying to, I'm, I'm trying to talk and tell you guys something while I'm also trying to, you know, pay attention and think steps ahead of my opponent right now, so I'm trying to think of what he can pull off, depending on what he has in his hand. Um, that card has no synergy with Redox, so it might just come down to what's that card in his hand. It seems like he's looking at his exact deck. It seems like he's trying to come up with a way to get around Terror. Thing is, he's so down on resources, it's ridiculous. Oh, there we go. There we go. Emergency Teleport. Alright, well, uh, clearly I hit the wrong card. Wish I would have hit uh, Emergency Teleport or MST, but it's cool. It's not like I really have any background anyway. That's fine. What you gonna go into? Stardust? Please go into Stardust. Please. As if I can't fucking handle that. Stardust? Stardust? Come on. Go for Stardust, man. Nope, he is going for the burrito. He is just going balls deep. That is fine. Yep. So he still has not, uh, he still has not normal summoned, so that's good. So he's gonna summon Burrito, he's gonna summon his monster with Burrito, then that monster in his hand is maybe, uh, a normal monster, so he's gonna summon it and sink again, I'm assuming. The thing is, is that you're still not getting around my terror, you're using up so many resources, but you're not getting around my terror. Still no. <laughs> so the struggle is still real for you, sir, so you better pull off something amazing, because right now I'm not impressed. Yeah. So I guess you're just trying to draw into more resources? No, that's it. Wow. Alright, I really thought you were gonna, you know, pull off some more out of that. Really did. Really thought you were gonna, you know, pull off something amazing, and in the end you really didn't do much of anything. So, I'm gonna go ahead and just normal summon a falcon. I'll just go ahead and uh, end, end my turn. Fact. 
It get destroyed. Fact. Go ahead and summon him. And uh, face down defense position. Set. Pass. Do I have another shell? Oh yeah, I do. Got dragon. I got hedgehog. So he gets flipped. I get to target one shit all monster in my graveyard. I don't even need the summon again. I should Falcon survives this sh on this turn right now. This turn I can just go flip, summon, make a Vulcan, target your card, target my Terra Incarnate, return, ultimate nightmare. Now I can start going on the offensive now since he's lower on resources. Doesn't he always? <laughs> Or, well, I guess it. Because the bell is both a man and a male and a female. So. The, cur the current reincarnation of the bell is a female, but the past was a male. Oh, okay, I guess. Because that he's running thin on resources. You would think that maybe he should stop playing monsters and stall out for a little bit longer, but I guess he knows that I'm probably going to go for a more offensive play, so he's kind of afraid of that, so. And there it is! The broken card of brokenness has been played! Fucking soul charge, alright. Can that card be banned yet? I swear to god, the card's broke. The card's broke. Like, I don't want to hear anybody's uh, counter arguments or anything. That card is broke. By the definition of broke. It has literally changed the format of the game. It has literally fucking uh, changed. It can change the game. Like, as you can clearly see, he just summoned three monsters from his graveyard. Like, not even Monster of Born pulled that off, and that was a staple. So I guess I'm just the only one in the world who doesn't play um, Soul Charge, huh? Well, no, there's a couple people, but it seems like lately a lot more people have been just playing that card. But I guess this guy's rating's pretty high, so I guess he wants to play the Soul Charge, because, you know, Soul Charge, yeah. They're both eight. He could probably go into a Felgrand. That would be inconvenient as all fuck. Get my effect. I don't know where Ultimate Nightmare is. It's in, it's in the deck. Uh, so I know that's that Katakuri bitch. You gonna go for Felgrand? No, you're just gonna leave it at that. Leave it at that. Alright. Alright. Cool. Uh, well, now I can activate Shadal Fusion. Can I only activate one? Yeah, I can only activate one Shadal Fusion per turn. Alright. Uh, well, obviously I'm going to go for Nephilim, because he does have Monster Summon for the extra deck, so we'll go ahead and go Shadal Fusion. We will, of course, send Thunder King Ryo. And who else? Uh, when you're sent to the graveyard, card fight, you can add one Shadal Monster in your hand. Uh, you can target one spell or trap. Uh, you can send one extra. I think I drew all the hedgehogs, so I guess I'll go ahead and send a uh, beast. We'll go ahead and summon Nephilim. And uh, we'll go ahead and uh, get. Uh, what's card summon? Uh, uh, I'll go ahead and get beast effect. No effect of Neph. So I'll go ahead and draw a card. Uh, we'll go ahead and turn to attack position. We will go ahead and, uh, we'll go ahead and flip summon him, get uh, his effect, and we will go ahead and, uh, set the beast. Set. Uh, still haven't normal summoned yet. <laughs> That's the funny thing. That is the funny thing, I said I still have not normal summoned yet. So, you know what? I'll go ahead and summon Lizard. So, we'll go ahead and just have... It really doesn't matter, so... 
effect to just destroy you automatically. We'll go ahead and have Ultimate Nightmare eat your Scrap Dragon. It tastes delish. Oh, well, good thing I'm normal summoning because it's going to be game because I'm just going to attack directly and then attack directly. So that's game. You got nothing. Yep. Whew. Ah, I didn't get to say GG because I was too busy hitting the enter of the, uh, the, you know, my opponent quitting. Alright, so that was pretty good. That was a pretty good episode. It was fun. Uh, you know, I beat Kirby the Katakuri even with Soul Charge. And, you know, once again, Shadal the Bell is looking like a really good deck in the Vitamin Y lineup. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for all the support. And I will see you guys tomorrow with Ubel Beat, which did not get voted out. It was Ubel Fire King, so we're going to continue on with Ubel Beat. Thanks for watching.